update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida, with your 2 p.m. update. And currently, we've got all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. The Dow is up 227, S&P 35, NASDAQ 100, 144. Russell's up 20, semis are up 12, Tranny's up 248. But what does all that mean out there? So to interpret what all that means, what we're going to do is we're going to go take a look at the, our multi-time frame charts for the ES Mini. Get a feel for what the, it's communicating to us, what it is we want to be paying attention to for the rest of the day. So what do we know? Well, first, if we start in the upper left-hand corner, the monthly chart shows that so far prices pulled back to just simply test its oscillator and change line. It's really at about 45, 63 or so where we're trading right now. On a monthly basis, if we get a close below that, that suggests we could see a run to 37.20. We'll take things one step at a time. Uh, let's. Uh, the weekly has a, a confirmed Rhodesman to indicator top. The daily has an A to B equals CD to downside. Those blue diagonal lines show you the A to B and then the C to D area out there. Remember, price can extend beyond the one-to-one. -one, but there's a chance today that you could get a bull sash candle. You would get that candle signal. That's a bullish reversal candle. Your price closes above 45.2450. That's a number, Nicholas, that you want to, and everybody else out there, that you want to pay attention to. If you get a close above that, you'll have a confirmed Gartley buy pattern. That will suggest to move to 46.59. The 30-minute chart completed an A to B equals CD. It was more than a one-to-one. -one. It, never, it never generated a bearish reversal candle. Nonetheless, price is trading below the bottom of its profile and its oscillator and change line. So, Nicholas, what I would do here is then go take a look at the 60-minute chart. Well, on the 60-minute chart, I've got the same A to B equals CD, no bearish reversal candle, but price is likely going to go target a oscillator and change line and bottom of the profile 4554 if that's a test and rejection then we should see a move back up to the 4594 level if you got a close of a 4602 and a quarter tells us you have a change in trend for the 60 minute time frame in the case of the 120 price needs a close of a 4603 to then suggest to move to 4649 the 240 says 4610 is a level that price needs to close above and on the five hour time frame chart the number that price would need to close above would be 4623 so taking this one step Step at a time, Nicholas. Right now, the focus moves from our 30-minute chart to the 60-minute time frame chart to see if support holds. And if it does, then where does that bounce take us to? So I hope that helps you guys out with regard to the ES Mini. But if not, stay tuned because you get that question answered by your favorite polar bear, David White or Tom O'Brien from 3 to 4. Folks, have a uh, terrific Thursday. Tune into the Trader's Ed Show tomorrow live if you're up at 8 o'clock. That's when we'll be recording it as well as all week next week. You and I will have tea and crumpets every day, every morning. Have a terrific Thursday, folks.